Harry Sheffield checked into Erlanger last year. He was deaf and his family says his primary way to communicate was American Sign Language. Oh, I can't, I can't explain it to you. The frustration was I don't read lips I, as many people think. Where I, my husband and I both are both profoundly deaf. You know, writing notes is very cumbersome and not sometimes is very easily misunderstood. It's better if we have an interpreter. The lawsuit claims Erlanger staff repeatedly tried communicating with him through written notes. They also tried to get an interpreter online for a video conference, but that also failed, leaving much of the interpretation to Elizabeth's daughter, who's a certified language interpreter. It's very frustrating when you have a family member that is um, sick and they need so much care and you're trying to worry about communication 24 hours a day and instead of getting to be the daughter or them to get to be the patient without having to have that added stress, you know. Wattenberger says the problem only got worse when her mother was sent to Erlanger after a car accident in February this year. She says after numerous attempts to get an interpreter on a consistent basis, it was unsuccessful. The Disability Law and Advocacy Center out of Nashville got involved after Wattenberger filed a complaint with the ADA. Then the DLAC filed a lawsuit on behalf of the family. I don't think anybody realizes the stress that it puts on a family. It's a big burden and um, lots of times, you know, they just go without or they're not able to tell their needs because they can't communicate fully and it's just not fair.